Chaplain McKeown here again. Hello, GSAR candidates, 2017. I'm going to do a land nav exercise. I will be using a military lensatic compass. So what we're going to do is first open it up, unlock the compass, and we're going to determine which way is north, which is this basically pointing toward me. So we're going to orient the map so it is pointing north and oriented with the actual terrain features. So I start out with the map in the roughly north position. I'm going to line up the straight edge of my map, of my compass, with the magnetic north on the map. This would be the grid north line, or just north. I'm going to line that up with magnetic north, and we'll see how close we've got. Looks like I need to move the map just a hair over, and there we go. So we're pointing north on the compass. And you can see that the magnetic north is lined up on the map. Where I'm headed is from this dot right here. And I'm going to head to that intersection right there. So I'm going to take my compass without disturbing the map. And I'm going to line it up in my direction of travel. I'm now lined up my start point and my end point. You can see that the course I want to follow is to be about 186 degrees. So on the military compass what I'll do is I'll line up this little line right there on the bezel with the line that's on my magnetic needle. And I've already done that. So when I walk through the woods, I merely need to make sure that my magnetic needle north is pointing at that line on the bezel and I will be following my correct course. To know my distance, according to the scale in this map, one inch here, is half a kilometer and according to the scale then the distance that we see here if you can see the scale is 625 meters to calculate distance involved 625 meters at my average pace of 57 paces per 100 meters uh, would be 57 times 6.25, 300, uh, I think 353, and adding 10% would make it about 389 paces. So the distance I'd be walking at my average pace count and, I'll, and with an extra 10% thrown in, it would be 389 paces, 625 meters, on a bearing of about 189, 190. And that's the way I'm going to walk. Okay, so we're about to head out. I'm going to shoot an azimuth real quick. As you can see with this lens attic compass, I put my thumb through this thumb ring, hold the front of the compass like this, and then I hold it to my face where I can shoot an azimuth, meaning I can look through this little slot in the top of the wire. And I look down at my compass, and there I can see through the lens 190, 189 degrees that direction. 
and that's how I'm going to walk. So the purpose in shooting my azimuth is so that I can see a landmark which I will navigate towards. When I reach that landmark, I can shoot another azimuth and pick out my next landmark to which I'm going to navigate towards. And that way, I'll be staying on target. So as you can see, there's a lot of trees and brush where I have to adjust my course as I walk through. Although right here, it's just opened up. Now you can see I've come to a dirt road. This would ordinarily might be a catching feature if I wanted to use it to point me in the right direction. But instead I'm using it as a landmark because I know I have to pass this road. So I'm gonna go straight across. Uh, from here I'll take another azimuth reading, make sure I'm on the right course. Okay, you can see I'm shooting through the lens aperture. And you can see that that's about 190 degrees right there on my line of travel where that red line is crossing the bezel. And if you go up and you look through the azimuth window, and you can see, you can't see it as well on the camera, but another large tree back there that I can use to sight on. And then also, I can hold my compass straight out in front of me like this and line up my line of travel and the two white lines right there. And you can see I'm on about a 190 degree bearing. And then that's, I just follow my line of travel. All right, you can see this mess that's in front of me. Kind of difficult to walk through all those brambles and heavy foliage. So I'm going to actually walk right around that direction to get on the other side of this. So I'm basically going to shoot myself across to that tree right there. And then I'll take another bearing to continue on my way. I look through the azimuth. Here's my spot. Here's my destination right there. You can see the road on the left. So that's acting as a catching feature. And I can see where it curves to the left. And the intersection I'm shooting for is right there between that spot right there is where I'm shooting for. So I've come in right on target. The six, the seven, and the eight, and the nine, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So this is my destination. And I came through those Virginia woods. So in a moment I'll add up all my pace counts and we'll find out how many paces it actually took me. Okay, here we are. We got to the end and I backtracked my original point. If I check my pace count and add it all up here, I see that I walked 410 paces total. Might not be exactly accurate. I think I lost count a couple of times but I made a notation of my pace count at each stop uh, where I figured my position and shot a new azimuth so I would stay on target. And as you saw, I came out right on target. So that's 410 paces. Um, I guess if we had that up, that's uh, 57 paces per 100 meters, so times four, 28, that's 228 meters 
Well, that's not right. 7, 4 through 1, 28. 5, 10, 15, 20. And 428. <laughs> Duh. So 428 meters. That's quite a bit shorter than my 625 meter estimate. So I have to work on that. But I hope that um, setting up my course on the map, which was accurate, and did get me exactly to my spot through those woods you saw, which were, you know, heavy enough that you couldn't see your way through. So that worked out. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, shoot me an email or put comments uh, below the video. And I'll try to come up with something else before our weekend and perhaps even after the weekend, uh, depending on what we learn there. I'll create some more videos that might be of use and benefit to either VDF personnel or any Civil Air Patrol candidates or cadets who happen to tune into it. So until next time, God bless. Have a good day.